Hey guys, today we're going to learn how to create a marble slide activity using Desmos. So first you're going to go to the teacher.desmos.com website. So we're using the teacher side of it, not the student side of it. And then you're going to want to create an account. So you'll hit create account and then you'll put in your name and an email address and then create a password for yourself. Um, and it really doesn't matter what email you use or what password you use. Um, anything is going to work. And then once you have your account, let's go ahead and let's go ahead and sign in. And then we're going to start building our activity. So on the left hand side, we'll hit custom. And you can see I already have a bunch of activities created, but you'll see you should see nothing here. So you'll create an activity by going to new activity. And then once it loads, you're going to give your activity a name. I'm going to call mine Drabinsky. And I'm going to call it um, Square Root Marble Slide. So you would name yours, for example, Joe, and then Square Root Marble Slide. Um, we'll hit Start Building. And you'll see the Builder options. So let's go to More. And then when you hit more, we're going to use the marble slide option. Now, if you don't see it, it means the marble slide's not enabled. So in order to enable it, you'll go to check out Desmos Labs. And then once the page loads, you'll see checkboxes. You'll want to check the marble slides. And then once it's checked, go back to your activity. And then if you hit the refresh button, um, you should see marble slides. So we're going to create a new marble slide, making a square root function. So let's start with a basic square root, which is the square root of x. Um, and then to, do, to get the square root, I'm going to type in sqrt. And I'm going to put in x, and then you'll see that the square root graph appears. Now let's use what we learned last week and transform this graph. And in my example, I'm going to use negative 2 square root of negative x minus 3. And then on the outside of the square root, I'm going to go plus 2.5. So this transforms your square root function. Um, I'm going to zoom out my window a little bit and move it over because when you give your code to somebody to try, what they'll see is the window that you give them. So under preview, you can see what the user is going to see once they actually play your marble slide. Um, so let's go ahead and turn off the red graph. And we're going to work around this blue one. And to make a marble slide, you have to place a ball and a couple of stars along the path. And so the ball is going to roll using your graph. So for this one, I want to place the ball at negative 4 and 3.5. And you could place this, for example, at negative um, 5 or except 3.5. You can place it a little bit higher at maybe like 5. But I'm going to choose this point. And you can see if I hit launch, the ball is going to fall down and roll along the graph that I created. So let's put a couple stars for the balls to hit. So the first star I'm going to put at negative 4 and 0. Um, I'm probably going to want to move this star a little bit because if I hit launch I won't be able to pick up the star very well. So let's, instead of putting it at negative 4 and 0, Let's move at maybe negative 4 and positive 1. And you can see now if I hit launch, it's going to get that star. So let's place 4 stars. So let's place another one at, let's try negative 6 and negative 1. Um, that should work. And you could always test play it by hitting launch to see if it's going to get the star. Let's place our next one at negative 8 and negative 2. 
And then the last one, let's go at negative, negative 11 and negative 3. And so let's do a quick test play. We're able to get all the stars. But if we leave this up here under preview mode, you can see that they're already going to have the answer. And that's going to kind of defeat the purpose of doing it. So let's delete this equation here. And we're going to turn on this one. So the goal is when you give your class code to somebody, they can write the correct transformation in order to get the stars. Um, so for example, they can try um, negative 2 square root of x minus 3 plus 2. And they can try different transformations in order to get the stars. Um, so let's go ahead and publish this marble slide now. So we're going to go to next. And we'll hit publish. And now your marble slide activity is live. And the last thing you would do once it's published is to create a class code. So you'll see this activity window now, and you can also find it under custom. Um, we're going to create a class code. My class code is FDMCHN. So if I share this with somebody, they're going to be able to play your activity. And so you're going to take this class code. You're going to comment in Shobi um, with this class code, and then you're going to kind of challenge me, and I'll go in and try out your marble slide. Um, thanks, and have fun. If you guys have any questions, feel free to hop on to Zoom, and I can show you a little bit more.